Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, 2.30 here, uh, early morning, late night. Um, I'm going to be doing initial impression on Rasasi fragrance once again, back to back three Rasasis. I noticed that. I actually kind of rotate my brands, men and women's perfume. I try to do balancing, but I want to do this like uh, because I want to finish up. I have about four or five fragrance reviews left and then I will be taking a little bit of break if possible, which is very difficult, unlikely of me. But uh, until I finish this work, you know, I'll just show you. I actually finished up most of the work, you know, like sorry about the handwriting. And then I took out what is left. I wrote it in this side, sorry. <laughs> this side about five fragrances. And then I'm not buying that many anymore. So I'll be done with it. So I just see, you know, it's just a thing. So Rasa C today we have a La Yukuam line. Uh, this is uh, their more premium line. And it's called, I think, Orchid Prairie, yes. So this fragrance is marketed towards women, but I'm going to tell you, this is a very, very bold fragrance and not for everybody. It's a very challenging polarizing perfume with beast mode longevity. So I did not see that many reviews. I saw one lady doing it, but I was not really, <laughs> um, didn't get enough information because I wanted more of a, uh, like a mainstream review reviewing it, talking about notes and all that. So I bought it recently and uh, I'll leave a link below where you can buy it in Bangladesh. Uh, so I basically covered uh, La Yukuam line, five fragrances, okay? First thing I covered was, I think, La Yukuam Purong, the Tuscan leather clone, the very popular one, my number one so far. Number two was Tobacco Blaze. This is similar to Rasasi Shura, but more polished. Then I did, I think, uh, Ambergris Showers. I leave the links below, you can check. Uh, but I sold it off. I was not wearing it that much. It was some Irish, Memo Irish leather or something clone. And then my favorite is Jasmine Wisp also. This is feminine, but beautiful uh, strawberry note in this. So what we're gonna get with this one, that's what I think initial impression. So before I review, I sprayed this on the paper about two days back. It's been 48 hours. The fragrance is there, okay? And I wanted to see how far it can push. It will push a couple more days, trust me. It's not gonna disappear from the paper. So you can understand this is gonna be a beast mode perfume. Uh, but I wanted to see what you get in the far, far dry down. That's why I did, I'm doing the initial after two days. So here you go. It comes in 75 mil, only one bottle size. They give you this niche presentation, sort of like Tom Ford. It's all wood, pure wood from Rasasi. You look at the quality. It's all, all woody, you know, like a presentation under that. You're going to find your sticker and whatnot. This batch is 2018. And the name is engraved here, all of it. It says Orchid Prairie Layu Kwam Rasasi. Okay, and inside every single one of them will have different color. This is kind of like a purplish color. Okay, orchid purple color, kind of like a, somewhere between pink and purple. Okay, and this is magnetic, but not very strong magnet for me. It's not like a very strong, but it has some strength. So once you open it, there you go inside, and then that's where the bottle is. Like typical of La Yukuam line. So there, there you go. So let me talk about the fragrance, and before that, bottle. So few things about this bottle is they look at the leaf. They are different color. Every single one would be different color. Like for example, it's here. I think the women's one, just let me check one thing. Women's one, they put the leaf in the right side of the bottle or yeah. No, when you hold it, it's the left side of the bottle. Yeah, this side basically. The men's one, they're gonna be in the other side. So they have three for men, three for women. One more left, La Yukon Pur Femme. That is the clone of, uh, I heard, Black Orchid Beast Mode. So perhaps I'll buy it, sometimes I'll review it. That'll be the last one. Then I'll do complete line talk. So this one, yes, the cap, everything good. Similar to a Laiu Palm line, it's all glass. Looks nice, some people might find it a bit, uh, or like not too posh, but I like it. So the cap, sometimes some of these caps are not really snug fit or click onto place. So you'd be very careful. Some of them are not consistent. The sprayer looks like that. And inside, just like typical, as you can see, the juice level is here. This is a brand new bottle, guys, okay? Uh, don't expect the juice level to be here. And it's okay to have this kind of juice level because they give this much space in every single La Yukon bottle. Okay, I'm taking a little bit of time to give you all updates. And that's okay. Only thing you just be mindful, if it does not spray for the first time, then it's never been sprayed. It's an intact bottle. So, this perfume, should I spray this in the room? This is what I was thinking. Okay, never mind, I'll do it for the review. I'm just gonna go try to show you the spread yeah that is basically enough for one day okay that's it so this perfume i'm not gonna smell it from close i'm gonna do this yeah i can smell it pretty damn strong this is a nuclear beast mode a longevity and projection <clears throat> 20 out of 10 in both categories 
Um, let's not talk about longevity and performance anymore. You got the idea. This is where Shura stands. It's better than Shura perhaps in longevity also. So yeah, this is market for women and some misconception conception was this is a clone of black orchid. It's not, okay? So this one has some elements of velvet orchid that is the sister of black orchid. Both are women's perfume, but this is totally different beast. And I don't think this is marketed towards women correctly. This should have been very much a unisex perfume, a more for men, less for women, like 60, 40 for men, poor and women. Like this is very authoritative fragrance. This is very bold, a polarizing scent. This is a floral oud perfume, okay? And it does not apologize. I wrote that on Fragrantica. <clears throat> this is one fragrance. You better know you wanna wear it. Otherwise it's gonna wear you. Uh, the florals in this, it's an opening of strong florals. I get kind of like a sweet opening, kind of like a geranium rose. I think there's one more floral note I forget. Perhaps it's an orchid note there. So three strong florals with oud right from the word go. They say oud is then the heart and the base, but I detect oud right away. And this fragrance continues to grow more towards darker woody and uh, cashmere and oud, a uh, bit of smoky oud. That's the side it's gonna go to. It's gonna go devil zone, devil district, all right? And it just gets stronger and stronger over time. I would not wear this in daytime, casually playing sports or uh, work. I'm not gonna do it. Even if you wear this under three layers of clothing, this fragrance right here, it's gonna project like a beast. One spray rule, do not do more than one. So uh, what else I get from this? This fragrance has interesting uh, progression. At first the florals, then it disappears a little bit. Then it starts getting, uh, that that point it starts getting like pure oud and the quality of the oud in this reminds me of Rasasi Asra Indonesia from the Borouge line. If you love that, you guys know that one is 50 mil, well over $150. This is 75 mil, well under $80, okay, $75 or so. So you're gonna get, if you like that, this is something you're gonna really find similarity. It's not the same, but it's more like a velvet orchid, little bit of opening of the sweet florals and then totally taken over by the oud. It's more sweeter than Indonesia, Rasri Asra Indonesia. I'll leave the link below as well, check it out. If you love that, if you love the Borouge line, they have utilized the same oud note in this. So you get uh, more for less, okay? That's my opinion, but uh, the fragrance, <clears throat> After two days on the paper, it's becoming more soft. The woods are gone. <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. And then what you remain with is the soft florals that they come back. So very interesting in the way that this fragrance is not going to be for everybody. This is going to be for people who like to challenge their nose. They like to challenge them. You know, they don't want to wear something that is obvious. It's even more challenging than black orchid in my humble opinion. And someone asked me like, what's your uh, grading? What's your number one? Is this your number one in La Yukon line? No. I would say all of them are a bit uh, challenging, but La Yukon, Purong, Tuscan Leather Clone is my number one, followed by Tobacco Blaze, which is similar to Shura. Third one is this. Fourth one is Jasmine Wisp. This is a bit safe. This is the safest in the line. And then the final one would be Rasasi La Yukon, Pur Femme. And that would be the sixth one. Amber Gris Shower would be the last one. So um, this is something you definitely have to sample first. If you like beast mode fragrances, if you like a little bit of floral sweetness, imagine Kasamat Morhaf and Rasa Siasra Indonesia also, they have a crossbreed. This is what you're gonna get, okay? So definitely it's not just for women. Men can also definitely wear it. Uh, cold weather is gonna really, really like project. It projects on me, on my skin. I took shower after wearing this. I wore it here, one spray. I took shower, I went to sleep, okay? I woke up after five hours, I put my hand, to my nose and it was there and that was only happened with handful of few fragrances like uh, Tom Ford Noir Extreme unbelievable but true Noir Extreme doesn't want to leave your skin fried Tom Ford and Kalimat Black another fragrance so this other fragrance doesn't want to leave your skin but make sure you know that you want to wear it unless uh, you know how to wear it uh, do not wear it <laughs> so uh, perhaps this is gonna be good dating fragrance I see the versatility on this is gonna be a little bit less this is for people who just want to show off their fragrance, you know, like I'm wearing oud, what, you know, rose oud combo, and I'm wearing some precious uh, real oud, you know, like it smells like real oud, not synthetic. So Middle Eastern fragrance at, at its best, does not apologize. They did a fragrance like this, saying that this is our statement, all right? So I can say it's like right in the middle of the road for people. Sniff it, if you like it, buy it. 
give it a try do not blind by it do not ignore it right so orchid prairie um I was thinking like orchid prairie, it could be like orchid on the prairie, I don't know. But this is not orchid dominant or floral all the way, like a sweet, soft floral. It's not definitely shy, okay? It's a bold perfume. I'll give it overall, how much I like it, I'll give it like 8. For the quality, 8. Longevity is 10, 10, like longevity projection. But for the presentation, for the price, and for the quality that you get, this is for me, 8 out of 10. Check it out, Orchid Prairie by Rasasi. Uh, Rasasi always makes quality right so thanks for watching guys that's my initial impression after wearing uh, some more and perhaps if i get live from poor fam i'll do a line talk of all the six right thanks very much for watching i'll sign out right now good night from dhaka bangladesh bye bye